Hi, here you will see how easy is the protocol of EV monocapture for bead assisted flow cytometry. We will take the capture beads coated with the antibody of interest and we add them to a cytometry tube. Then we add the EV sample and mix. Here we will use a final volume of 100 microliters, but the final volume of the assay can also be adapted. Then we cover the tubes from light and incubate the mix at room temperature overnight. Once we have the EVs immobilized on the capture beads, we wash by adding 1 ml of PBS casein. Since the beads are magnetic, you can recover them by placing the tubes in a magnetic rack for 5 minutes. After that time, we can gently aspirate 1 ml and discard it. In case that you prefer to perform the assay in a 96 well plate, you can also use a plate magnet to wash. If you don't have a magnet, don't worry, the beads can be pelleted to the bottom of the tube with a centrifugation. Once we have recovered the beads, we will proceed to stain the EVs bound to these beads. For this, we add the fluorescent antibody of interest in this case anti-CD81 PE and incubate for one hour at 4 degrees in the dark. Finally, we wash again with PBS and we are now ready to analyze the beads at the flow cytometer.